I just want to take a moment to mourn the loss of this Hoya Bella leaf. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I wanted to talk about my fastest growing Hoya in my collection. Those are pretty much Hoyas that do not stop growing and I'm not really going to be talking about the usual, you know, Carnosas, Pupicalyx, those types of Hoyas. I want to talk about a few different ones so that you guys can get an idea and go out and buy those for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, so first off, I want to go through this wonderful Hoya that I got from a trade with my beloved friend. If you are watching, you know who you are. This one is the first and it's the Hoya Elliptica with its very long tendril but this elliptica is so fast growing it literally rooted in probably a few weeks and then it started pushing out new leaves really really quickly so this hoya has the turtle shell kind of pattern on its foliage and with more light the leaves do get a little bit lighter in color so a lighter green as opposed to a darker green but then you get this wonderful splashing on the leaves so let me see if i can show you guys do you see the cool splashing on this leaf? It's probably from too much sun, but I'm not too mad about it and it really looks unique, I think, because the older leaves don't really have super, super crazy splashing, but that leaf really does. And it hasn't really fully hardened off yet, so it's still like fairly fresh and it's such a fast grower so i highly recommend this one it's more kind of special and unique it doesn't look like your typical like carnosa foliage and it's just very cool i really like this one and it's very rewarding because it grows really really quickly you get plenty of new leaves within a very short period of time Moving along, the next one I want to talk about is my Hoya Sunrise. So this one is also very fast growing. It came to me unrooted, so it was through a trade and I honestly am so shocked once again. It's decided to put out new leaves within the month. There's literally two new leaves coming out of one side and then another two leaves coming out from the bottom. So there's two new growth points, which I'm just baffled. So this is the sunrise, a little close up. That's how it's looking like. It has very nice kind of a reddish tinge to it right now with the leaves because it is sun stressed and I think it looks very nice that way. If it weren't to be sun stressed, you wouldn't be able to see the venation on the leaves as well. So definitely give it very, very bright light. This one sits under my grow lights, which it's really loving. Some of my Hoyas don't really like that super intense grow light, but this Hoya Sunrise for sure. And because it's in such a bright environment, it is growing so much quicker. I'm really happy with this one. I didn't think it would put out new leaves so quickly because a lot of these Hoyas I got are unrooted and I didn't expect to see results so quickly and it's just so rewarding. I really, really can't stress that enough, especially if you're doing trades with friends because most of the time they are like unrooted so that you just root it yourself and it's it just feels so, so good. Next one on the list is definitely my Hoya Matilde. So the Matilde is actually a cross between two different Hoyas and it has the Hoya Serpents, which is a little bit finicky to grow and it's not as fast growing. You usually find them in very small pots, very small like little cups cuttings and it's also crossed with a Hoya Carnosa. So because it has the Carnosa in its parentage, it grows so quickly and you still get those really cute like circular round leaves. They're a little bit bigger than serpents because of the Carnosa parentage, but if you like circular leaves, kind of like obovadas, but a little bit smaller and potentially very splashy, then you'll really like the Hoya Matilde. Mine, I originally bought as a really big plant. I've taken so many cuttings from it. I've propagated it so many times. I've re-trellised it. I've revamped it. I've done so many things with this Matilde and it's done nothing but grow for me. So it's honestly a very, very easy beginner friendly plant, very fast growing, not finicky at all. Probably one of my most low maintenance plants out there that is very rewarding. So highly recommend getting yourself a Hoya Matilde. Even if you get a small cutting, it will literally explode and double in size within like 
I would say a month. You don't really have to splurge and spend money on a really big plant because sometimes other Hoyas will grow so slowly that I would recommend getting a bigger plant because otherwise it will just look like a little two leaf cutting for the rest of its life. But Hoya Matilde's, if you get a small cutting, it will be totally okay. Next up, I wanna show you guys my Hoya Bella. So I would say all the Hoya Bella varieties grow very quickly. So the regular Hoya Bella, the Hoya Bella variegated, where the outer margins are cream colored. And then this one, the one I have, which is the Hoya Reverse variegated. So this one has the variegation on, oh, lost the leaf. <laughs> this one has the variegation on the inside. So it kind of reminds me of like a Hoya Australis Lisa and like a Crimson Princess. The variegation is on the inside and it just looks very like delicate. I don't know how to say it. I originally bought it as such a tiny little plant. It was probably just like this yay big and now it literally looks like a tree <laughs> and it's humongous. I think if I were to not trellis it, I can let it kind of flop over and trail. Not really the look I'm going for, but I think this is a very, very cute Hoya. If you guys can get your hands on it, this one is a little bit pricier than the regular variegated or even the regular Bella. If you want just like a rewarding kind of triangular small leaf Hoya, just get the regular one. But if you like variegation, I would say highly, highly recommend getting this reverse variegated one. I love it so much. It's so fast growing. You would not even believe it. Like literally you blink your eye and it grew like 10 leaves. <laughs> Moving along, I wanna talk about this Hoya Australis Lisa. So I find the Australis family, they grow really quickly, except for the Albo Marginata. That one I hear kinda of grows a little bit slow, but this Australis Lisa is very, very beautiful, super stunning, and grows pretty quickly. So this one I also got as an unrooted cutting, and it's now this big. It is putting out new leaves, as you can see. There's these like two, reddish color leaves at the top and then i have some tiny little baby ones down here which are a little bit harder to see but they're closer to the base and this one is just such an amazing hoya because the leaves are fairly big and bigger leaf hoyas tend to not grow as quickly but this one actually does grow fairly quickly so i'm pretty surprised i really like this one this one used to be my number one favorite hoya it's since been replaced by my vitilinoides which is not fast growing, but it's a very, very beautiful Hoya. I still really enjoy this one. I would never get rid of it because it has a special meaning in my heart because I got it through trades from friends and I'm just forever grateful for the people that I've met within the plant community who are willing to share their beloved plants with me. I think if you're kind of into variegated plants and fast growing, rewarding plants, you should definitely get yourself a Hoya Australis Lisa. That pretty much concludes all of the plants that I want to talk about that are fast growing, that are probably easily accessible. I wouldn't say like they're super, super rare, but if you have online shops that you have access to or your local nurseries, they might sell these. I think you guys should get them. Very rewarding, very fast growing, and that's honestly what any plant parent can ask for. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to comment down below which one is your fastest growing Hoya. I would love to know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.